The Miocene Epoch is known as the real planet of the apes, because over 50 hominoid genera roamed across various regions. From 25 to 5.5 million years ago, the Miocene marked the emergence of mammalian fauna resembling modern ones. It also witnessed the significant diversification of hominoid primates, leading to forms that share many characteristics with today's apes and humans. However, determining the specific relationships within this group remains contentious. Besides the lack of a tail, anthropologists have identified key features in the evolution of apes. These are the evolution of ape-like dental features like the Y5 pattern and molar cusps, the evolution of shoulder anatomy meant for arm swinging or brachiating and the evolution of knuckle walking. The oldest known African apes lived about 23 million years ago. These early apes lived in forests and woodlands across Africa, thriving alongside many different types of monkeys and apes. They were smaller than modern apes and walked on the soles of their feet, instead of on their knuckles. These apes are often called dental apes because they had Y5-type patterns and molar cusps, similar to apes but with bodies more like monkeys. Proconsul and Ikembo are the best known of the many fossil apes from the early Miocene of East Africa. Ikembo and Proconsul were components of a diverse and successful group, which lasted roughly 12 million years, from about 22 to 10.5 million years ago, though it is mostly known from the early Miocene, becoming rare after about 17.5 million years ago. Another ape, Morotopithecus bishopi, lived around 20.6 million years ago in Uganda and had anatomy similar to modern apes, suggesting it could swing from branch to branch. Around 17 million years ago, early apes from Africa expanded into Eurasia. These apes, called Griffopithecus, had teeth adapted for a diet with abrasive foods, indicating a change in diet and habitat from earlier apes. Griffopithecus had thickly enameled molars suited for crushing and grinding tough objects. They likely ate terrestrial foods with grit. Their jaws and limb fragments suggest they were generalist tree climbers, lacking the specialized suspensory abilities of modern apes. Another similar genus, Equatorius from Kenya, is about 15 million years old. Nakalopithecus, also from Kenya, had enlarged elbow and wrist joints suggesting a more modern ape-like use of forelimbs for climbing, but without the hanging ability of living apes. Kenyapithecus, appearing around 13.5 million years ago, shows subtle indications of a more modern upper jaw and elbow, possibly hinting at the next phase of ape evolution. Kenyapithecus was among the first to walk on its knuckles and descend to the ground. Between 15 and 12 million years ago, apes that ate hard fruits and grass seeds thrived in eastern Africa. These apes were not directly related to modern apes and humans but were part of a different branch of the evolutionary tree. Kenyapithecus walked on four feet and spent some time on the ground, suggesting a transition from living in trees to living on the ground had already begun before savanna spread across eastern Africa later on. The diversity of Middle Miocene apes in Europe to East Africa suggests they were successful and may have been the ancestors of living great apes. By around 12.5 million years ago, the earliest members of orangutans and African apes, including humans, appeared in Eurasia, likely evolving there. Major climatic shifts occurred between 17 and 14 million years ago, and again between 8 and 5 million years ago, due to changes in continents, mountains, and Antarctic ice. Around 14 million years ago, Africa's climate became drier, and this is when molecular evidence suggests that African great apes and humans diverged from Asian great apes or pongenes. The oldest known pongenes, dating back to about 12.7 million years ago, were found in India and Pakistan. These belong to the genus Sivapithecus, which shares unique features with modern orangutans, suggesting it is a fossil relative of the orangutan. Sivapithecus had large molars with broad, flat cusps and thick enamel, similar to fossil humans like Australopithecus and Griffopithecus. It had a powerful jaw adapted for eating various types of food, possibly including hard items during food scarcity. Sivapithecus survived for over 6 million years in Asia and ranged from Turkey to Thailand. Indopithecus, a large relative of Sivapithecus, lived around 6.5 million years ago in India and may be ancestral to Gigantopithecus, the largest primate ever known. Gigantopithecus lived until about 300,000 years ago in China and is confirmed to be related to orangutans. While Sivapithecus had a face similar to orangutans, its limbs were not particularly orangutan-like. It likely had a body type similar to modern apes, with a broad chest and arms hanging from the side. Sivapithecus probably spent more time on the ground but was still an excellent climber. 
Initially described as Paleopithecus civilensis by Richard Lydecker in 1879, based on a partial palate from Pakistan, it wasn't until 1979 that a significant specimen, Civipithecus indicus, confirmed the link to the orangutan. Ramapithecus, named by Lewis in 1934, was initially thought to be a human ancestor, but by the mid-1980s, it was reclassified as a synonym of Civipithecus. During the time pawn genes were evolving in Asia, Dryopithecus lived around 12.5 to 11.9 million years ago in France, Spain, and Austria. Fossils of Dryopithecus were found in Catalonia, Spain, dating between 12.5 and 11.9 million years ago. They had a body form like modern apes and were skilled climbers, possibly partly suspensory like living apes. These early hominines had jaws and teeth similar to chimpanzees, adapted for a diet of soft fruits. Other Dryopithecines, found in Greece, Bulgaria, and Turkey, had African ape-like skulls and robust jaws and teeth. Related genera have been found in China, dated 9 to 6 million years ago, and may be related to European late Miocene apes or an independent lineage. Fossil apes from Kenya and Ethiopia, dated 9.6 to 10 million years ago, share attributes with early and middle Miocene African apes, likely representing remnants of African hominoid radiation. Studies have shown that apparent similarities among living apes, such as hand length, result from different evolutionary pathways. Parallel evolution, where similar traits evolve independently due to shared genetic and developmental pathways, may explain some postcranial similarities related to suspensory behaviors among extant apes. Between 11 and 5 million years ago, there's a lack of fossils that show the transition from apes walking on all fours to humans walking upright. However, a lower jawbone and teeth found in Kenya suggest a new species, Nacolopithecus nakiyamai, which could be related to the common ancestor of gorillas, chimpanzees, and humans. Around 18 to 12 million years ago, the basic body plan of large hominoids like gorillas and orangutans emerged. Then, between 8 and 5 million years ago, there was another burst of evolutionary activity, producing four lineages, one of which led to hominins, including humans. Molecular studies confirm that African apes and humans are similar, orangs roughly twice as distant, and gibbons a bit more dissimilar than orangs. Chimpanzees share more than 99% of their genetic material with humans, even though it is packaged in their chromosomes differently. However, the precise relationships between any genetic differences and the geologic timescale are still uncertain and the subject of much discussion. Before hominin bipedalism, various locomotor behaviors were common, such as terrestrial knuckle walking, palmigrade quadrupedalism, and arboreal behaviors like climbing and suspension. Miocene ape evidence indicates the pan homo ancestor likely lived in woodland and was omnivorous. Bipedalism arose from the need for terrestrial travel between feeding areas as forests broke up. Transitioning to open habitats involved increasing bipedal commitment, better grasping, reduced canine honing, and preceding brain enlargement. Before hominin bipedalism, Various hominoids evolved specialized adaptations to exploit their habitats, forming a cognitive trap where diet, locomotion, cognition, and life history were interconnected. As the climate deteriorated during the late Miocene, these specialized adaptations hindered great apes from adapting to new environments, leading to their decline. Late Miocene great apes faced challenges transitioning to more open habitats due to their dietary, locomotor, and cognitive specializations. This specialization trap explains the decline of European dryopiths and the delayed retreat of pawn genes to southeastern Asia. Gorillas adapted by expanding their dietary range and increasing body size, distinct from chimpanzees. The evolution of knuckle walking in hominoids remains unclear, possibly linked to habitat fragmentation and reliance on both terrestrial and arboreal locomotion. While great apes survived environmental challenges, their specialized adaptations may lead to extinction. Hominins escape this specialization trap by evolving bipedalism, freeing the hands and enhancing manual dexterity, brain development, and cultural technology. Human evolution reflects adaptation to changing environments, building upon trends started in Miocene hominoids. However, human activities and overpopulation may lead to new evolutionary challenges.